What's up everybody, Kellen here with Droid Life, taking a look today at the Nexus 4 and its Miracast technology. So, Miracast is basically a way for you to take whatever's on the display of your device, throw it up on a monitor, TV, something of that nature, um, and I've purchased the Netgear Push to TV or Netgear TV 3000, I believe the model number is, and I've got it up and working with Miracast. So, this Netgear module is about 60 bucks at Best Buy. I believe you can get it on Amazon for like 70 with Prime shipping. So go to your best local Best Buy and buy it. Uh, out of the box, it doesn't actually work. You have to update firmware, and there's a couple of firmwares floating around their beta that actually do enable Miracast. So I've got Nexus 4, Netgear PTV3000, I believe it's called. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how this works. But before we show you on the device, I just want to show you the, uh, the little module. So I've got it hooked up to my um, home entertainment system, and you can see Netgear. It's just this little black box. It's got HDMI port and a mini USB port on the back, and that's it. There's also a little button over there and then a sort of status light. So once that's hooked up and you flipped your TV over or your system over to whichever input you have that HDMI hooked up into, we're sort of ready to go to the device. So if we go ahead and pull up the device here and we go into settings... I can do that. So, okay, so you can see I already have it enabled, but if you go into settings um, and you go under display, all the way at the bottom there's this thing called wireless display, and I've got it turned on. So, it's already found the push to TV unit on there. So, if I go ahead and tap that, it should start connecting, and then we should also see it connecting on the TV, which it's doing. So, connecting to wireless display device. Um, I will say that these beta firmwares that are out there are a little buggy. They're not all that awesome. But there it goes. It's all set up. So you can see on my device, it says connected. I promise it actually does say connected on there. Anyways, it says it on the TV and there it is. So if I go ahead and press home, it takes me home. I can go into like say, we can go into like Granny Smith and it goes landscape. And you can hear it playing Granny Smith. I can adjust the volume. I can go ahead and play Granny Smith if I want. Um, I will say there's a slight delay in there, so gaming doesn't necessarily work all that well. But if you want to go to like YouTube or let's go to play movies and TV, and let's go with, uh, how about Breaking Bad? So if we play an episode of, say, Breaking Bad, here's the pilot, and here it is on my device. I'm doing all this from my device, by the way. And it should start playing up there since it's over Wi-Fi and all that stuff. And it's actually, this is just mirroring, but I do have Wi-Fi on my phone, so it should load pretty quickly. So here's Breaking Bad, and you can see it mirrors it. The video quality is decent. It's not awesome, um, but it definitely does work. We can go ahead and fast forward a little bit so you can actually see some action other than just scenic views, potentially. There we go. So, you know, video quality is not awful, also not awesome. Uh, but so that's basically how it works. I hit home and now I'm back home. You know, I can go in here and you can see my notification bar. You know, you can check your email, you can look at photos. You know, it does basically everything you're doing on your phone. So you can see I'm swiping. There's a slight delay, not a huge delay, but a little bit of one. So anyway, that's, uh, that's Miracast and how it works on the Nexus 4. We'll have instructions on the uh, Netgear. Um, how to get that up and running with the current firmware and all that stuff. So anyways, check us out at the blog. We're Droid Life. Peace.